<laughs> and we are gonna start on Smashville here. So Cloud Bayonetta versus Luigi Charizard. Oh wow, Adorable Knight just running in. Adorable Knight is like, I don't care, I'm getting this grab right now. That's the thing in doubles, sometimes you just have to assert your, yourself at the very start of the match, just so you can get that advantage at the start, like with stage four. So we are gonna see Adorable Ooh. Knight take more abuse, am I not or am I correct? Uh, isn't that kind of the plan to have Shadow play the punish game? Uh, honestly, like they, they mix up their roles pretty well. Like they will uh, Shadow will go in sometimes too, but I mean probably a Dormal Light starting off to go in. Wow, going for the tornado, catching both of their uh, his teammate and uh, Stewie. But uh, when you when you hit both like a Charizard and a Bayonetta, Bayonetta's gonna be taking more of the, the hits and not back really. I so, yeah. Charizard can take quite a few more hits. So she's gonna like the abuse a lot less. Yeah, exactly. So it's really okay if Charizard gets caught off in some of like the collateral damage sometimes. Good forward smash coming through case I'm not getting all the hits. Ooh, wow, that <laughs> nice tech coming off the shadow. Ooh, and good back here from Adorable Knight. Gonna take the first stock from Kesa. Whipping that grab, unfortunately. Right, it's such a shadow. You using that rock smash to kind of get past the danger zone from Bayo. Oh! Ooh, actually gonna clip his partner right there. And he's gonna die himself. That was a very negative exchange for Blue Team right yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the forward smash coming out from Charizard actually getting extended by the shield. Right. Ooh, this is <laughs> that was almost uh, pretty problematic for uh, for Adorable Knight there, stuck off stage versus Bayonetta. And that's exactly what you were talking about with that up throw. Uh, Stewie having the correct DI and living at 150 something. Uh, he's gonna die there. And good conversion from back throw. Yeah, back throw is a pretty good throw, like just to set up like for aerial combos, just because like it takes time, so it gives your partner that time to set up. Yeah, it gives the them follow. the recognition, and it can knock somebody away if they're trying to bail out their partner from getting spun out. Exactly. Oh, Whoa. and the finishing touch actually gonna do it that high up on the stage. That's a very early stock loss for uh, for Charizard, who wants to be living for a long time. And blue team with a deficit right now. Yeah, a very large deficit because Stewie's at such low percents. All right, but that up smash out of shield, I'm not gonna do it. Good jabs to back here right there. Oh. And the up smash being a little bit broken and not in the good way. Good grab, up throw right here, not gonna take it out. Gonna try to, yep, there we go. Get his partner out of the witch time state. Right. Oh wow, Charizard stuck in that, uh, that jab combo, but didn't manage to get the grab punish. Oh wow, nice. I, I wasn't. I didn't quite see what the uh, K set brought out there to steal off the stock from uh, my Dorma Mike. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there. And good for it, Air. Coming through, they've totally eliminated this deficit. It's a, basically an even game. Yeah, really what it is is blue team's just been tightening up their gameplay. Not getting hit by so much and getting like the slow and safe conversions that they need to. Just like that. Although Shadow is sitting at 71%, still a pretty healthy amount for Charizard. As long I mean, as, as long as he doesn't get hit by one of Cloud's really strong hits, he should be okay. Yeah. Ooh, wow. That Nair is such a good uh, move for like just ping pong combos, you know, it doubles. Absolutely, yeah, you're smacking them back and forth, back and forth. Uh-oh. And that's what we were talking about. Charizard couldn't afford to get caught by one of those strong hits. All right, so now it's all the way, all up to his normal might. I mean, it's definitely not out of the situation, but he's got to take a stock soon. So this can be very difficult because Luigi has the least amount of range on the stage right now. Yeah, honestly, like in a 1v1 situation against both these characters, Luigi is definitely at the like matchup disadvantage. But Adorable Knight, everyone's pretty much at last hit. So it just comes down to who's going to get the kill. Next. On the bright side, Luigi's uh, throws, a lot of them have very little lag. Yeah. That's going to be a good back here right there, but not quite taking it. 
Uh, and we should just see him. Oh, oh, he must not have had his jump. Unfortunate. Yeah, kind of in a weird, stuck in a weird spot there after that neutral air. All right, so blue team gonna have to think about like how they can just tighten up their gameplay, because like it was a close, it was a close back and forth, like pretty much all throughout. We saw Shadow get caught in two limit options that killed yeah. uh, right around 100 and sub 100. Yeah, it's kind of surprising. Like, uh, Ksev, like, really uh, focused on Shadow most of the time and got his limit options on Shadow, which usually you'd expect, like, the Cloud to kind of oppress Luigi in this situation. People say that uh, Charizard Cloud is, like, in Charizard's favor. Right, at, the very least, at the very least, Charizard can jank him out, but that's more of a single situation. I'd say, yeah, he, Charizard has, like, a good option. <laughs> Shout out to Proto just walking by here. <laughs> giving us bunny ears. He All right, cool. then. Oh, this is, uh, is this winner's quarters? Winner's round two. But you got to remember what Gucci does is that round one is not winner's round one. Like, if it says round one on the bracket, it's not winner's. She hasn't won anything yet. Oh, okay, I get you. Uh, so we might be a little bit further along. Obviously, we don't have the bracket in front of us to see exactly where we're at. Right. But right away, uh, Shadow's just like giant frame is just getting knocked back and forth. 64%, and he hasn't really gotten any kind of offense started for his team. That's the hardest part about playing Charizard in doubles. He can just get knocked around so easily because of his huge frame. Woo! Coming out, just watching that. Oh, wow. Actually getting gonna catch up. the get up option. Yeah, getting right up into it. Charizard has a pretty high ledge hang, so I think he might have been caught either way. Uh, so I think he was forced to do something there. Not picking the correct option, but I think he was forced into an option. Yeah, this is a really bad start for the blue team right now. Red team only sitting at mid percents on their first stocks, and uh, Adorable Knight sitting at kill percent. Shadow only bleeding more and more damage as he's on his second stock. Good seismic toss coming through. I think what he wanted was just to uh, break up the red team right there because he landed on top of Bayonetta and she was forced to shield. Oh, wow. They coming out with the neutral air. But the bats are then going to just totally save him. Oh, and nice. that's an excellent conversion right there. Yeah, great fly. Just catching him out of the throw. It's going to get them a good start on this uh, potential comeback that Blue Team's going to go for. Woo! Again, another good conversion right there. All right, Adorable Knight finally, finally losing his stocks. We do have even stocks, but uh, Shadow's really going to have to hang on to his play very passively. So if Adorable Knight can get something started here for his partner, they can build on some damage and get, start mounting this lead. Or start uh, mounting this comeback, I should say. I like that dash attack into attempted flare blitz. That was a really interesting option. It does like 20% when it connects. Yeah. And KSF just missing that F smash right there. And Ooh. we're gonna see Shadow whip one of his own and get punished hard for it. Yeah, definitely not the uh, best option there. But wow! Gonna what? get spiked by KSF's uh, up B right there. That she was just the mistake that Blue Team needed Red Team to fall into because now they're in the lead. I mean, just slightly, but it's Ooh, definitely noticeable. That was a good up smash right there. That's two of them in a row. That was KSAP just not respecting Charizard and the fact that his uh, wings don't have a hitbox. Like, yeah, and just can't like really that, challenge it. Just like that, the pace of this match has changed completely into Blue Team's favor. Wow, so much shield pressure from that. Adorable Knight trying to go for the spike after the throw, but not getting the spike hitbox. I've seen that before. What they do is they go for the soft hit of the, the tornado to set up into like an untechable situation. Ooh, that's actually disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, and then Charizard capitalizes, of course, the F smash. All right, we're going to see even stocks here. Oh, the oh no! Oh, oh he's going to get it, though. And we got All a 1v1. Right. What great recognition for Adorable Knight catching on to that, uh, that punish opportunity, bring it to a 1v1. That, that ledge trump back here from Pesev was so good. Let's see how adept Stewie's Bayonetta is here in this 1v1 scenario. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty tricky because Adorable Knight is gonna be playing his, uh, his singles game now, which is a very patient and campy Luigi. 
That's the best way to play a Luigi though, because this disadvantage state is so bad and getting over aggressive can put you in disadvantage a lot. Yeah, in a lot of cases, definitely. We're gonna see this 20% jab come out though. Oh, Ooh, what? The blind did spot. See, did, huh? That, 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 was some, that was some cloud Z access crap going on. I, I wanna <laughs> see a replay of that. I think that was just a blind spot, but maybe he had time to spot dodge. No, it, he was like, he was like in the end animation for the thing. It must have been some kind of blind spot, but <laughs> like, it's like Luigi leaned forward when he finished his tornado. I don't know if we got the replay technology on hand for that. But I think Gucci's a little distracted, unfortunately. Oh, rip. <laughs> I mean, a very fortunate situation for uh, Adorable Knight. I mean, honestly, the, the blue team just, like, everything went right in the second half of the game. Adorable Knight showed, like, some really, really high IQ play, uh, knowing that K-Sub was forced off stage yeah. to cross slash him and getting the spike right there. Yeah, it was a really crazy back and forth there because blue team was playing from that kind of early deficit for such a long time. But uh, they made a, a comeback just because of, like, a, one mistake on the red team's part. Oh, nice spot dodge. <laughs> I mean, like, it was. Like, he spot dodged the first hit of uh, cross slash just to get the, uh, the jab combo in. But Luigi, in a lot of cases, like, spot dodge is his best option because he doesn't suffer that shield knockback and it keeps you in place where you want to be. Oh, no, you are absolutely correct. And Sui is actually going to get hit by the spike there and run out of resources before he's able to get back. Wow. What a, what a fortunate start for the, for the blue team here. Honestly, that last game, like, clawing their way back, this is giving them the momentum in this game three to take the set if they can continue here. But, oh, wow, and he's going to get that spike, a little bit of punishment right back. But coming a little later, and that's a good tornado into dash attack right there. That's an excellent conversion. Yeah, Shadow not really in position to punish with something huge, but definitely uh, enough there. Oh, just shooting him in the face. <laughs> he's taking those shots, and then he's going to get that up air. Good stuff to Shadow right now, playing on point. Yeah, recognizing the, the positions that his partner is giving him. A little soft slap of the down, the down air. Throwing him a little bit too far for a goal we'll to capitalize on. Wow, really? Woo! Down air, falling onto the platform and getting hit by the up smash on the missed tech. They have cleaned up so much right here. Shadow stopped getting caught by like limit options. Yeah. And not only that, but they, they got a few early stocks here. Oh, oh my goodness, that, Shadow. That's something that I've seen Shadow been trying out more and more, is like this kind of reverse flamethrower to, to throw people off the stage. Say, so, and it does put you into that, uh, those frames where you can't snap ledge because you took damage. Exactly, that's so good for Charizard. Luigi off stage here. He does have a jump, and he's going to be able to tornado back up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just tapping him with that the side beat. That was kind of weird. Very weird, because the down smash actually beat out that uh, rack smash. Ooh. Oh, and Adorable Knight is going to get chopped up right there. Yeah, really good stuff from K-Set there, recognizing that he can catch the tornado recovery with that. Yep, if you don't do it just right. I know I've seen Elegant and like Con Con hover like just underneath the stage and then use their up B to come back. It's like the safest way to do that. Oh, Woo! good conversion right there. Yeah, off the dash attack of all things too. Yeah, and this is a tragic situation for Stewie, I'd say. 130%. Yeah, this Shadow's is still very hard. Stocks. What are you going to do to this? Oh, this Good should be it. Oh. oh, just missing right there. Yeah, kind of a DI mix up there. DIing that low. Woo! The re-grab. Re -grab. Good catch right there. Yeah, Shadow and Adorable Knight taking that. I almost lost the set, really, because, like, game one, they, like, didn't really have what they wanted.